Congress. Now, both House and Senate committees are scheduled hearings for next week to investigate this apparent GSA taxpayer-funded boondoggle. Here now is California Republican Congressman Jeff Denham. He uh, chairs the Transportation and Infrastructure Subcommittee, which uh, is going to hold one of those hearings. Mr. Denham, thank you very much for coming on. Look, this is clearly not just a taxpayer fleece. This is a rogue agency, is it not? Oh, it absolutely is. This is a slush fund that they've been using for whatever purposes they would like to. We've been asking for an audit for over a year and a half. Now we're going to implement legislation to force their hand. But this is, this is a government waste at its worst. You would never think that they would have this lavish party in, in Vegas as well as spend over a half a million dollars on trinkets, on toys, on iPods, and all of the uh, different things they gave away. Yeah, I mean, some of these reports, um, in addition to the 850 some odd, uh, thousand dollars, there was another $400,000, as you say, in iPads and, uh, you know, uh, digital uh, cameras and so forth. These were performance awards, even though they're not on the job. So let me ask you, this thing, which I'm going to keep calling a rogue agency, started under Bush, not the agency, but this spending. I mean, my numbers show that under Bush, they went from 93,000 per conference all the way up to 655,000, and then under Obama, moved that number to 850,000. If I throw in the performance, uh, uh, Jeff, then I get uh, well over a million. So this has been going on bipartisan for a long time. Under any administration, it's the wrong thing to do. We can't have agencies that have their own private slush funds that can just go out there and spend money. Now, under the Bush administration, though, it was at 50000 for uh, this program that's now ballooned up to 450000 You know, when uh, the president uh, was talking about cutting back and, and uh, minimizing this, uh, no raises, no bonuses, and yet this agency went out there and did far worse than they ever did under the Bush administration. Both administrations were wrong for doing it, and it's got to stop. So, okay, both administrations are wrong. Why didn't Congress exercise oversight? I don't know how long you've been a House member, Jeff, but I'm just saying we've had a Republican House and Senate for a good many years until recently, and they could have had oversight during the Bush years and during the Obama years. Where was Congress? Uh, I'm a first-term freshman, uh, but right when I was sworn in, I picked up this committee chairmanship. And uh, this is information we've been asking for since day one. Uh, we wanted to make sure that not only did we have enough money to sell and liquidate these properties that we're supposed to be liquidating across the nation that aren't being used, but want to redevelop it and create jobs. And yet they've always hidden this number from us. We've never been able to get a, an exact number or uh, how much was in there because it's, it's a private slush fund. Well, all right. A private fund. Let me ask you this. Again, I use the term rogue agency. Um, why don't you get rid of the agency? You know, their main purpose is to manage these public buildings and government properties, but they're supposed to sell them. They don't sell them. They're supposed to privatize it. They don't do that. Why don't you put them out of business and let a private real estate firm replace the GSA? Well, and I think that's the, uh, the right thing to do. We actually have put a bill over into the Senate now uh, dealing with all of our civilian property to have a brac like commission, and that will basically eliminate uh, what we need GSA for. We ought to be set, putting this all out to the private sector, allowing the private sector in every uh, state and every big city be able to uh, competitively bid on these properties and sell them off and redevelop them. All right, makes sense to me. California Republican Jeff Denham, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Good luck on the hearings. Now, thank you. Let's turn to some much better.